The CTM's role in the information warfare community is uh, pretty simple. We provide maintenance and keep systems running that allow operators to do what they need to do um, for our mission set. A CTM coming in as an accession is going to learn uh, a lot of fundamentals. You're going to see IT fundamentals, RF, power, electronics, uh, theory, electronic components. They're going to understand networking, all the communication, and how all of those tie in to actually just being one system that does all these different things and being able to troubleshoot those across the different subsystems. Things I think students should know who are coming into the CTM rating is be prepared to use your hands and your mind. Um, this isn't just a analytical kind of rate where we have to analyze what's wrong with something. Um, we actually have to use our hands and fix it. Um, so it's, it's using that troubleshooting process and then ultimately fixing what is wrong. So if you like using your hands, if you like getting dirty, working on an antenna and going aloft, or you like being underwater fixing a system and you're the only one there able to fix it and you're uh, that kind of importance, uh, this, this rating is definitely for you. So the CTRs, who are the cryptologic technician, radio men because they used to work on radios, but we basically fix all of their equipment. They're the collectors. Uh, so we work on different types of systems because we can be on ships, subs, really can send us anywhere. After you get through A school, you have uh, antenna maintenance, so how to actually upkeep the antennas because you have a lot to take care of. So the difference between CTM and IT, honestly, we do learn some IT things. We literally have a class in CTMA called IT Essentials. We take the same Cisco course that the ITs do. Um, I would say we are a lot more hands-on than them, um, and there's a lot less of us. They have a couple different types of ITs, we are a lot more personalized to our racks. Uh, you also have sub-school. Submarine duty is challenging, but it's not as bad as you would think. Um, as soon as you develop a routine, it just becomes second nature, just going through your routine duties of the day and making sure that everything goes. So it's a very rewarding experience, and like I said, you'll be able to go to places and see things that no one else has in a perspective that very few have the opportunity to go and see. It's a very challenging deployment, but it was very rewarding at the end as well um, because it helped me work on my leadership, on my organizational skills, and learn project management while I was going through that. As a base CTM, there's a lot of opportunities. Um, most of them are on ship, but we do have a lot of shoreside commands all across the world from Japan to the Middle East to both coasts here. There's just so many skills that you have that are just in high demand. Um, that if you take full advantage of getting the certifications while you're in the Navy, you'll be very competitive when you try to apply for these high-end jobs or high-end technical jobs um, when you decide to cross over to the civilian career. Yeah.